Yeah, I mean, I have my version of, and like when we were um, working on it, Garrett and I had to have, like, we knew the rules and what was happening, but then we pulled out a lot of uh, information so that it's open to interpretation. So, personally, I find it really interesting when people have, um, you know, interpretations that are different to my own. I find that more interesting than my own. Um, mine, okay. Um, <laughs> like that, okay, so say, like the people, the estate agents, um, are like a brood parasite, like, um, like a cuckoo, like at the beginning of the film. They don't have an agenda to take over the world. They have a symbiotic relationship with humans. And um, they create these, they give people what it appears that people want, um, which in this case is this kind of uh, estate. And it's like a quantum bubble on the surface of the earth. <laughs> and uh, it has its own kind of quantum rules within there. and. There are actually people living in the houses, but they're vibrating at a different frequency to each other. And then when, she, when Gemma goes under the curb and into the house and gets ejected, it's like um, it's like a foreign body, like a like metal going into flesh gets pushed out. So she's not, well, she doesn't belong there. So she gets pushed out and pushed out until she is in her own box where they want her. Um, that's my interpretation. <laughs> it's not. The, it's not like that's right. <laughs> or, um, so it, like um, my <clears throat> my brother's um, girlfriend watched it like a few days ago, and she thought the woman at the table was um, Gemma's mother, and she was kind of seeing her past. And um, I thought that was cool. <laughs> <laughs>